dry or do it fall out. Run down and get you a bottle of 2020 hair grease. Don't delay. <laughs> All right, Blaze, are you gonna talk? What other choice do I have? You caught me with my hand in the cookie jar. Let's talk. <laughs> Who was working with you? I worked alone. <laughs> Just a reminder, Blaze. This is a maximum security facility surrounded by government troops, so no funny business. There's that phrase again. Funny business. You law and order types seem awfully concerned that I'm gonna get funny. Are you gonna deny your involvement in these crimes? How can I? I'm so clearly guilty. Would you say as much in a written confession? By all means, bring me a pen. He's toying with us. A cruel game of cat and mouse. Call the general and tell him to keep the troops on alert. <laughs> Are you looking for an engagement ring? Then come see us at Guy Blondo Jewelers. Guy Blondo Jewelers, I do. Dominic! You're burrowing a hole in the floor. What are you, a gopher? North-south, with the grain, on a circle. <laughs> Stop it! We have a machine that we use when we get close to the wall. You're digging grooves! You're digging? Grooves! Mm. No! Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Wrong! Incorrect! Erroneous! No! Stop it! Shut it off! Shut it off! Shut it off! How is it possible that you've been working here for two weeks yet you don't have a clue as to what you're doing? He engraved his name on a sander. You defaced a sander. That's a company machine. When you have your own company, you can carve your name all over the place, but this machine belongs to me. Look, Dominic, I'm gonna have to let you go. I'm sorry, but uh, you can go now, Dominic. Uh, just you. Goodbye. Not a word. <laughs> Go. <Aww. laughs> Go. Look, man, you did the right thing. The guy's completely incompetent. We got more work done when it's just the two of us. You know that? care. You're a menace to wood. <laughs> you know what I ought to do? I ought to come out hey, there hey, and hey, just... hey, come on, relax. Let's just give the guy another chance. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at that divot. That's going to take us all day just to finish that. I know. A but minute I... ago, you called him incompetent. Look at that. That's pathetic. <laughs> No. 
All right. Go on. Enjoyed that? You want that wrapped up or you wanna? <laughs> Please. Oh. You know, the Romans had the right idea. <laughs> Their society was about order and they spent a lot of time in public baths. <laughs> <laughs> Seeds? When in Rome. <laughs> Hi. I'm Russell. Russell Bits. Mind if I join you? Why am I coming apart? <laughs> I'm Janice, Janice Hoax. I'd be delighted. <laughs> I like you. You're hip, you're young, you're eager. What do you do? I'm a hydro engineer. I primarily work with dams. <laughs> Oops, my water broke. <laughs> well, I see if I can find something to dam it up. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy you a drink, Janice? Oh, please. Schnapps. All righty, what can I get for you? I'd like a sh schnapps for the lady, and I'll have another frozen tiger. <laughs> Easy on the mint this time. All righty. You've got great teeth. I like them. They're pointy, they're sharp. I find they come in handy when I'm eating meat. <laughs> a meat eater. I'm an LPN. <laughs> All righty, a schnapps for the lady and a frozen tiger for the gentleman. Just put that on my card. All righty. I find you energetic. I'm going kayaking tomorrow in the hills. Why don't you join me? Why are you coming apart? <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Do you have another card? Another card? Yes, sir. This one's been tonight. <laughs> Embarrassing moment. <laughs> Quick lesson. It would appear that all the information on this card is contained in these little numbers and fancy colors on the front, but as far as the machine is concerned, all the information is on this little strip, a magical magnetic strip. So why don't you try it again? <laughs> in some country, monkeys have his jobs. It's a good thing they hire the handicap. I can say that I'm a nerd. Oh. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> it seems that when the machine read the little magical strip, it learned that the card is no good. Why don't I get this round, Russell? <laughs> no, I insist. Is there a problem here, Sapporo? Um, <laughs> well, Mr. Staircase, this gentleman's card's been denied. Please, don't scold him. It was my fault. <laughs> Apparently, I've given him a task that was way beyond his capabilities. Okay, I'll try this again, sir. Sapporo, why don't you get that Southwest Crab Claw sampler platter over to TP10, and then, I don't know, do some setups and marry some ketchups. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, more seeds? Please. All this trouble over a couple drinks. Well, if it were easy, we would all be drunk. <laughs> Sapporo? Uh, yes, sir. Would you come here, please? What do you need, sir? I'd like to apologize. This card is not worth the plastic on which it's printed. Sir, if it were any softer, I would wipe my ass with it. Do you have anything less offensive? Please, I'll pay cash. No, thank you. This is not about money. This is about trust. You see, credit is trust. I guess what it comes down to, gentlemen, is whether you're going to trust me or a machine. We'll be trusting the machine. Well, apparently this isn't Rome. Why don't we go? You'll still need to pay for the shops and the seven frozen tigers. Look, gentlemen. I could cause a very ugly scene. But I'm just going to say thank you and good night. Sparrow. <laughs> All right. Why don't I just write you a check? We're not a bank. <laughs> This ring belonged to my grandmother. Not a pun shop. Perhaps there are some dishes that. We're not I a hobo camp. Cash. Cash. Right. 
What I'm going to do is run out and find a cash machine. They're not stupid. I just wish I'd get my sister to understand that. Well, she's older, but I think you have the emotional maturity. <laughs> just leave that stuff. I'll get it later. Oh. You want some more wine? Oh, I'd love some. Well, let's have some. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I've been wanting to talk to someone about this for such a long time. You're so easy to talk to. So are you. <laughs> there you go. I'm really glad we're taking it slow. Well, anything good is worth waiting for. And you are definitely worth waiting for. <laughs> so... Uh, on whom are you doing your thesis? Oh, on, um, Carson McCullers. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah, she's, uh, what's she write? Uh, oh, Member of yeah. a Wedding, the Hardest Lonely Hunter. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful language. Yeah. She's from the South. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are we watching? I just put this on for background. Oh. Uh, she's from Georgia. She has, uh, lupus. Well, that sounds so... Tragic. Yeah. What's, uh, well, what's your angle? On <laughs> what is this? I just saw I made years ago with my buddies. It's no big deal. Oh. Yeah. Um, she had a very sad and lonely life, actually. It sounds like it. Yeah. What's right. um? <laughs> what is this? I just me, Scott, and Chip, and that's some girl we met at a train station. I don't, I don't know her name. Oh my God. Yeah, it's hard to see our faces. That's me right there, right there. I'm the one with the Mardi Gras mask on. Yeah. Oh my God, it's this couch! Put the mute on or something? Just turn it off! Okay, okay, I'm so... Oh, wait, wait, check this out! This looks planned, but it was a complete fluke. Right there. Turn oh. it! <laughs> Will you turn it off? This is disturbing, Colin. Turn it off! Okay. Wait, wait, please! Look, I have a confession to make. I put this on for a reason. I made this years ago when I was in a lot of trouble. And I'm so ashamed of that period of my life that I was afraid that I would never be able to have the courage to reveal it to you. So this was just a desperate attempt to find some way to get it out in the open and hope you'd understand. Understand? Yes. Well, understand this, Colin. I will never come back to this hellhole again. I can't believe you sucked me in. I'm going to be out of your life faster than you can say Jack Robinson. You made me sick. Oh. <laughs> well, understand this, Colin. Oh. Again, you sucked me, sucked me, sucked me. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be out of your life faster, faster, faster. And you can say Jack, Jack Robinson. You make me, make me, make me sick. <laughs> well, understand this, Colin. I'm What you do? And she dropped me a letter I'd hired a band Ran this band in the land Dropped me a letter I'd hired a band And spread the welcome back for you Oh, I don't know where you came from Cause I don't know where you've been But it really doesn't matter Grab a chair and fill your platter And dig, dig, dig right in If I knew Hi. Where are you going with my baby?